Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through the introduction of a probability analysis, pro sorry, profitable analysis. And after that, we will be moving on to the finance and profitability analysis in detail, guys. Okay, yes. So basically, the definition of the profitability analysis is nothing but here based on the profit, you will be deciding whether to continue your organization or your process or to abandon it or to eliminate it. To determine whether a product or mar marketing activity or service should be expanded, reduced or eliminated. So everything you will be depending on the profit. So that concept is nothing but the profit profitability analysis guys. Okay. Yes. So now let us go through the original topic that is nothing but prof financial and profitable analysis. So here we will be discussing about various terminology guys. Okay. Yes. So please concentrate for some time guys. Okay, so the first is nothing but the cost of a production. Okay, so the estimation of a financial profitability may be prepared along the following lines. Okay, so the first thing is nothing but the cost of a production. So what is a cost of production guys? So the total cost which your particular product is taken. So it includes the material cost, labor cost, utilities cost, factory overheads and everything if you calculate and store it in a result. So that is nothing but cost of production okay yes similarly total administrative expenses so here this is one part of expenses and we also have the administrative expenses right yes so this contains the administrative salaries so basically the administrators and everyone will be getting salaries right yes so remuneration to directors professional fees light and other charges guys so basically stationary and everything will be included here so this includes the administrators administrative expenses okay so after that we are having the sales expenses right yes so the next is sales expenses the sales expenses include like any kind of marketing and all those things guys okay forwarding charges salary sales and all those things guys okay yes so this is nothing but the total sale expenses okay so next moving on to Royal and known and know how payable. Okay, so royal and know how payable annually may be shown here. The royal rate is usually five to two to five percent of sales. Further roy royalty is payable often limited members of say five to ten years. So basically, it is indirectly saying about the amount that you will be paying your employees if they get any kind of extra sales, guys right so that is a nothing but the royalty and a known payments okay so the total cost of a production is a nothing but the sum of all those things guys so sum of a b c and d so if you add all of them you will be getting the total cost of production okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea till now right yes so just to give me a second guys okay sorry for that let us continue so the next thing is a nothing but expected sales okay so let us go back again okay so expected sales is nothing but the figure of expected sales are drawn from the estimated sales and production prepared earlier in the financial analysis and projection exercise so basically when we started our business we always think that how much we are going to get the profit right yes so how much we are going to get the sales or how many books so assume that you are a book factory okay so you print books and all those things processes you'll be doing so you thought that the this particular book will be sold at 500 copies sorry 5000 copies in a single day right yes so these kind of estimates can be done guys okay yes so based on that you will be expecting the things right yes so here there is a, a theory about the forecasting guys. so here they assumed that in the initial stages the growth was a bit it is growing right so initially everything will grow more slowly and later on after some time it becomes constant right yes so there is some analysis you can just go through it guys once okay yes and the next is a nothing but the gross profit okay yes so gross profit so basically they will be creating the tables in this way so basically based on your things based on the product and years okay yes let us continue so gross profit before interest so this represents the difference between the expected sales and the total cost of production so i think everyone knows the total cost of production that is nothing but a b c d like according to this equation right according to this theory right yes from that if you minus your expected thing then you will be getting your gross profit before interest guys okay okay yes i think the formula is written here 
just give me a second okay i think it's not written okay so you can write there guys so g is equals to e minus f right yes okay so the next is nothing but total financial expenses okay so financial expenses consist of interest on terms of loans interest on bank borrowing and all this so basically total financial expenses are nothing but the money which you took from others to fulfill your requirements so all those money the guarantees what you gave how much you took everything will be under this total financial expenses guys okay yes okay so here we are having multiple theory and formulas guys you can just to go through them okay let us continue okay so other income so only on these you will be getting money so you will be having some other income also right yes so that other income is nothing but if any details have to be given that represents income arise from the transaction not a part of the firm okay so example of such a transaction is a sales of a machine disposer of scrap so basically whenever you do something right so assume that you are is a wood factory so you will be getting some wood husk right so i don't know exactly what they call it i i call it as wood husk so basically the wood pieces small small pieces which are chopped off when you cut the wood so these pieces you can resell them to wood brick makers guys so while making bricks they will be using this to burn them in a proper way like when the bricks are laid down on a play, play at one place they will be pouring this husk guys they basically they will be pouring those wooden pieces and they will be lighting on fire so basically you can resell them right resell these things right yes so this reselling gives you some money right so that money comes under this other incomes okay yes okay similarly we are having a right of preliminary expenses okay so preliminary expenses up to 2.5% of the project or capital employment which is higher can be um after 10 annums okay yes so basically there are few more terms guys i hope everyone can go through them right so basically these are really known terms for us just to read the first line guys it will be more than enough for us okay yes so i hope everyone got a clear idea on the topic which we have discussed now so basically this is just a theoretical topic guys so that is the reason why even while i was explaining also it is just like i'm reading the book right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about the cost of a project guys okay yes so let us meet in the next lecture like what is the total cost like what are the things which we need to do the project right yes so in the next lecture we'll be discussing about it guys okay thank you thanks for watching